All right, folks, it's time to welcome two ladies that were both number one draft picks in the WNBA. I'm going to go ahead and say that uh, they're the most in-shape players on the Las Vegas Aces. And after returning from overseas, they're no doubt still flying high because they are Olympic gold medalists. I'm talking about KP, Kelsey Plum, and Jackie Young. What's happening, ladies? What's happening? Thanks for having us. Uh, <laughs> you guys got to still be excited flying high, right? Yeah, I think finally when we got back and got to sleep a little bit, um, it still feels surreal. I mean, just what a week. I, I can imagine. I, I mean, have, has it sunk in the fact that you have a gold medal that you didn't bring with you? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm right <laughs> Get it. <laughs> no, it's been crazy, honestly. Um, it's been a crazy two weeks, I guess it would be for me. But uh, I don't know. I mean, obviously the gold medal is, is great, but, like, you st still think about it. Like, wow, did that really happen? Like. I'm really, we're really gold medalists, so it's crazy. Really gold medalists. All right, so we got a camera over here. I know he's going to come to it now. Maybe this one. Please show him this gold medal so they can see this thing. Ooh <laughs> now, I found this out the very first time I touched the gold medal. Uh, Kelsey, yeah. first time you got that thing, did you realize it was that heavy? Oh, well, when we uh, got it hung on our necks, my head dropped here. <laughs> <laughs> I was not prepared. And then when we were wearing it uh, the rest of the day, um, I had like a headache. I'm like, why? <laughs> why do I have a headache? And then I'm realizing there's like three pounds on my neck just the whole time. But um, it's pretty cool. It's legit for sure. It is absolutely legit. Absolutely legit. So when you got your gold medal, you guys kind of went back to the room and it, did you take it off or did you just walk around with it forever? Or what was the whole deal with it when you? Oh, I definitely kept mine on for a long time. <laughs> I actually slept with it. It was right there <laughs> on my pillow. And so. Um, I've actually worn it a lot. People say it's heavy, yeah, but I'm like, I'm used to it now. Like, it doesn't really bother me, but I really haven't not had it for a long time. Except for now. Yeah. Just for Channel 3. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be the longest time. It's back home, safe in Indiana. You no, know? I got you. I got you. <laughs> and it didn't affect you. Either one of you will affect you a little bit, but you guys are the most in-shape players on the team. You like that line? I like that line. Yeah. That's nice. That yeah, is good. Because, I, I mean, I really think that that's the case, you guys on the Aces. You guys, I mean, Jackie's on – you know, jacked up. <laughs> I walked behind you at the Golden Knights game. You were walking in front of me the night that you did the, the whole wheel. Uh -huh. And I knew it was you just from walking behind you because of your shoulders. Can I just apologize to the Golden Knights fans? <laughs> I spun the, the um, crank the wrong way, and I think I gave them some bad luck. And I just want to apologize. And <laughs> hopefully, if you ever want me back, I promise I'll do it right next time. Okay. Please have Kelsey back. <laughs> Please, just, you know, just give me another chance. Uh, give me another chance to make it right. One more chance like Biggie. I got you. <laughs> uh, all right, so, Jack, let me ask you this. Three on, first of all, three on three. Do you call it three by three or three on three? Because I, I call it three on three. But they're saying, like, three by three. and I call it three on three, but it's actually three X three. That's what they Okay. That's said. terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I will say that. You don't have to say that. That's terrible. Um, so the style of play for three on three, you're like, you're a mid range monster. That's what I call you. I mean, you, you got that beautiful mid range game. Do you think your game translates pretty easily to three, three on three? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think so. Just with how I play, um, just being so physical. And so that's how three on three is. And so I'm able to get to the basket, finish at the rim with a lot of contact. And so I thought my game translated well for three on three. Yeah, and this one here, I mean, she's a spark plug, a gym rat, as Coach likes to call her. But you, speed is like one of your biggest assets, you know. Did you think that the, your game translates really well, as we're looking at the highlight of you in the background, <laughs> uh, translates really well to three-on-three? Three? Yeah, I think you talked about earlier being in shape and then playing with pace. That was kind of our advantage in the United States. We wanted to play more physical, and we wanted to play with more pace. Because, you know, in a 10-minute game, the first five minutes, everyone can play hard, everyone can stay with you. But that last five minutes, that's where you just kind of take off. That's always been our strategy. And so definitely being in shape was the reason why we were able to come on with gold. I wondered about this. These are questions that I had questions I wanted to ask you, but they're kind of popping in my head right now. When I was watching this game, mm -hmm. you guys could actually defend the person after they get the rebound going back out to the three point line. Like that's, that's yeah, weird yeah. to me. So it's part of a strategy. So when you make a shot, um, there's that charge circle. Once they leave the charge circle, you can defend them and that takes away time off the shot clock. So by the time, if they're dribbling it out, by the time they get back to the three-point line, you want them to have least time as possible. That way, you know, it's a tougher shot. And so I think, you know, strategy-wise, we definitely do that. We're super physical. We make them, you know, wear down. So when they, even if they get a shot, their legs are tired, their lungs are tired. Yeah. Yeah. So was that, that had to be different. I know for me, because I've played a lot of basketball. I'm not as good as you guys, obviously, but like I hoop. And uh, like to me, you never, you don't, you don't guard somebody after they get the rebound when you're going back 
Like, was that something to kind of get used to playing three on three? Yeah, definitely. Um, especially for me, I hadn't played in a long time. So <laughs> just trying to get back in the rhythm of that. Um, but I feel like once you play a while, you just get used to it. You get in the habit of as soon as I get out of the circle, I'm going to defend them to try to take some time off the clock. I got you. So like in the five on five game, now you guys are going to be guarding people out of bounds. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Jackie, you were a late addition to the team. You guys go over there and win the gold medal. Like, you have to be feeling like one of the luckiest people on the planet, the fact that you just got put on the team at the end of the, you know, after you guys had qualified and everything. Yeah, for sure. I'm um, definitely blessed to have the opportunity to play on the 3-on-3 three three women's team. I mean, it kind of sucks with this, under the circumstances that it was under. And so, um, yeah, super sad for her, but I was just blessed to be able to fill in and just – be a sub for them and just do whatever I could to help the team win. Jackie's being humble. She was on vacation. <laughs> they called her up and she was like, yeah, I'm ready. And she came out and hooped. So <laughs> she talking about a sub. We sub every play. Everyone's a sub. So, I mean, if without Jackie, we wouldn't have been able to do it because, uh, you know, you need four people and everyone has to hold their own offensively and defensively. So Jackie's a real MVP. Oh, <laughs> uh, look at she's going KD on us over here. Jackie's a real MVP. <laughs> But how about you? I mean, the fact that a, a year ago you had the torn Achilles, right? So you go from rehabbing your Achilles to starting the WNBA season and playing and balling, coming off the bench, doing your thing, and then winning an Olympic gold medal a year after you tore your – I mean, that's to me that's absurd. But, I mean, like that's crazy. It's got to be surreal to you, right? It feels really good to be able to um, accomplish that. You know, that was my goal from the jump. So looking at Tokyo when they said the games were on, uh, kind of planning backwards, you know, when can I run, when can I start playing and starting uh, to be ready. The biggest thing for me was like, I'm going to try to be in the best shape I can when they clear me to play. That way I don't have to have, you know, eight months of like figuring out and getting my rhythm because I had about a month. And so that was it. And uh, it was super worth it. I mean, all the work and rehab and extra conditioning, that type of stuff, um, you know, you don't remember it when you're standing on the podium. Now I got you. So with her and her extra work and everything, does she walk around the locker room like, hey, if anyone wants uh, any piece of me, you don't want to see these hands because I've been with the UFC. Like, I've been putting in that work. Does she, does she remind you guys about that at all? No, no. But we always have it in the back of our heads. So. <laughs> uh, but that had to have been cool, too. Like, getting with Dana White and doing all the stuff you did with the UFC. Like, anytime that someone here in Las Vegas talks about the UFC and the Aces, they bring up the fact that you spend a whole lot of time over there rehabbing and doing your thing. You're like an honorary MMA fighter. So don't, don't get mad at me. Hey, hey, no, no, no. I don't want any uh, setups. Don't set me up with any fights. Okay. No, I, I'm staying out the ring. We actually went to a fight, um, Jack and I, I don't know, maybe like a month ago. Yeah. And the one uh, here? We yeah. saw it up close. McGregor Poirier, or did you go to the No, no. it was before that. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. It was like maybe two weekends before that. And Jackie and I, people were getting knocked out. We look at each other like, we're in the right sport. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. We were close, too. You could hear everything. Yeah, you could hear it every was, slap, yeah. punch. Oh, my gosh. Those people are incredible. No, it's wild. Incredible. Jackie may remember, I actually saw you and uh, Liz Cambage mm -hmm. at a UFC. I think it was a McGregor, McGregor. fight. Like, a, okay. Yeah. It was before, right before COVID hit, we were out there. Uh, got a cool selfie from it. Oh. Anyway, I, I'm telling people stuff that they don't care about. But anyway, I'm talking about that anyway. Um, all right, so you guys go over there, you win the three-on-three, the, three, the very first gold, the very first gold medal for this event. Like that, another thing that has to be pretty cool, the fact that they had never had this sport in the Olympics, and you guys are going to go down in history as the very first gold medalist from this sport. Like that's sweet again. I mean, it was pretty cool that to be able to have our names etched in history. I think in addition to that, they told us after we won, we were the first team from the United States, like a team sport, mm -hmm. to win a gold medal in Tokyo. Oh, wow. So that, to me, was like, I don't want to say it was cooler, but I thought that was cooler. <laughs> so. Was it cooler for you? <laughs> yeah, it actually was, because we didn't know that going mm -hmm. in. Uh, but it was definitely exciting whenever we found that out. I mean, because you guys got to it, like, immediately. I remember, you know, back here, the Olympics here on Channel 3. But, yeah, the, the Olympics were on, and you guys were, I mean, competing already. Like, you guys got to it. Seemed like you got there and then, okay, get on the court. You guys are playing. Was it, did it seem that quick or did you guys have some time to kind of adjust to being over there at the time and everything or what? Um, I know whenever I got there, I had practice like the next morning, I think it was, or maybe afternoon. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what they did the first day, but we definitely got straight into it. And then we had a few days until our first game. Okay. So hold on, you went over first? Well, remember she was a late ad. So we went over separately because it was like, <laughs> 
Jackie's on the beach in Florida and she gets a call <laughs> and she flies to Tokyo. So it happened to be later than we got there. That's why the first time we got live game reps mm -hmm. was against France in the first game. See, I thought, I knew you were a late ad and all that, but I thought that they added you before you guys actually went over there. It was that late of an ad that when she, uh, when Samuelson- Well, we were in the process of literally getting on the plane to fly over there when the <laughs> ad happened. Yeah. Wow. Yes. So, so it was had pretty to, amazing. That, yeah. And I had to go like through the testing protocols and oh, stuff yeah. like that. So then I was like a day late. Okay, so. I got you. I got you. You're just trying to be dramatic. So you save the day. Get Willis Reed no, over here. No, that's not me at all. <laughs> we all know how Jackie is, everybody. No, <laughs> I got you. Um, all right, so I wonder about this, and a lot of people, I'm sure, are wondering the fact, what was it like in Tokyo? We'll start with you, Kelsey. Being in Tokyo, the hotel, or did you get a chance to see the, the country, the city, um, watch any of the games with the, you know, the other teams? How was that experience for you, being in this COVID state? I just think the whole time we were so like grateful that it was even happening to so the positive outlook was like we didn't get to see much because it was either the hotel or the arena but we took pictures when we were driving over there um i know for me one of the coolest parts and this is gonna sound insane uh their toilets are like <laughs> yeah like no, i'm just kidding yeah I'm just kidding. I'm <laughs> i mean they're heated they're they sanitize themselves they make noises when you go. They sanitize themselves. Yes, they make noises when you go, like nature noises. Yeah. It's just like yeah. some of the coolest. Yeah. They have the beignet thing yeah. or whatever you call it. Oh my gosh, I thought it was public restrooms, private restrooms in your hotel room. Um, I was just amazed. <laughs> she didn't want to leave her hotel room. No. <laughs> well, what, what is the, how, I'm, I'm flabbergasted. I can't even talk after hearing that. That's a great story. Um, what about you? Like, what were some of the things that you got a chance to do, or what did you? Uh, what was it like? The actual experience of being there, you know, when you weren't playing. Yeah, I mean, it was nice to just be with the other athletes. Uh, men's and women's basketball were there, and then women's soccer. So it was cool to just be able to interact with the other athletes whenever we weren't playing. Um, I know I, we watched. I think it was the quarterfinal game the night before with some of the five-on-five -five mm. teams. So that was pretty cool. Oh, okay, that's okay. That's cool. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Really quickly, man, the men, uh, five on five, oh, it's five by five, <laughs> five on five team, the men's team, they won gold. Is KD a walking bucket or what? Give that man two gold medals. Right, it's crazy. <laughs> man, KD was hooping. Yeah, everyone doubted him too. But Yeah, I, you know, everyone jumped off the bandwagon and yeah. then jumped back on. So I'm just glad that they uh, finished it and it's a great way to great way to send it off and the women are tonight so excited about that yes i was going to say that as well your guys this girl uh asia and also chelsea as well but asia's been hooping over there chelsea she's doing on a national international stage which she had been doing this season already i mean she's miss you know jason kidd magic johnson <laughs> diamond up people hitting them on the side of the head and whatnot um how about the way that they're playing go ahead you can get this one yeah i mean it's great to see asia performing the way she is over there uh she does that all throughout the WNBA season so uh, I'm not surprised, but I'm just super happy for her um, with this being her first Olympics. She's really just um, setting the tone for USA basketball and just really performing each night. So I'm excited to see her tonight. I got you. It makes you feel proud. I mean, obviously, uh, what, half of the three-on-three -three team are Las Vegas Aces, and then you have two Aces players that are on the, the women's team over there. Like, to see your girls, obviously, you know the other players on the team as well, but still, the, uh, the players that you guys play with over there doing their thing. Absolutely. I mean, you know, she talked about Asia and Chelsea. Like, people don't realize this is her first time with USA Basketball, and you wouldn't know it by the way she's playing. Um, and at such a high level on the biggest stage, um, you know, we're just really excited for them, and they're going to hoop tonight. Uh, and she's not being shy. Like, she's pulling. You know what I mean? Like, uh, Asia. Like, oh, she's, yeah. I mean, she's like, okay, I'm getting my shots in. Like, she's trying to take a bunch of shots, but she's not being shy and deferring and all that. Like, she's getting it in. I mean, she's MVP. Yeah, that's what <laughs> you better get. Yeah, that's what she's supposed to do. She's Asia Wilson, <laughs> right? <laughs> Just like Kevin Durant, I, you know who I am. Yep. I'm Kevin Durant. I'm Kevin Durant. All right. So a lot of people, I'm sure, are wondering, what are you going to do with your gold medal? That's a great question. Um, I don't know. I think I've got to talk to my mom. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we were talking about safety deposit box or something at the bank. No. No. No, I, you got to have it somewhere you can. Yeah, well, you they can said you can get it, it out anytime, though. Kara said you can get it whenever. When you, are you going to drive to the bank? I mean, you're right. That's yeah. Well, yeah. where would you? Okay, where would you put it? Because we're not well, home. All the gold medals I have. 
Uh, right. <laughs> I probably have a, a like a safe at home or something. That's where mine is right now. Yeah, where I brothers. keep all my cash, yeah, all my ice. Uh, <laughs> 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 She's like, is he for real? No, I'm not for real. No, but I, I would have a safe. I, I'm thinking. No, I don't know. Yeah, that's where mine is right now. Okay. My brother's safe. So. I'll work on it. I'll work on it. You'll work on it and get back to me? Yeah, she just that? has hers out for people to get. Yeah. <laughs> She's going to show up to practice when the aces get back? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, okay. That's cool. I, I, I'll, I'll, I wondered about that as well. Um, so you talked about it. No, you talked about it a little bit. Uh, like you're having your, your trophy. What are some of the, your trophy, your gold medal. What are some of the things you're going to do with it that, like the Stanley Cup, people go and they drink beer with it. Um, they go on dates with it. You have any kind of crazy, people do, like you really? said, I can't remember which one, which one of you slept with it? It was Jackie. Well, it was just right in the bed on my No, I, pillow. I of course, <laughs> you, of course, you want to keep it close by. Are you going to do anything like just, you know, go out to dinner, or, you know, you're hanging out with it. Are you going to do anything? Suzanne, she's taking on a date. I mean, when I go out to dinner? When you go on a date. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, When would I have time to go on a date? Oh, I'm, I'm, sh I'm sure you know. I actually brought mine to dinner. You like did? with my family. So oh, everybody see, could see, see it. See? But not, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, honestly, I haven't really thought much about it. I, okay. I'll, again, I'll work on it. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get, we got to talk with Jiggy because I'm sure you guys going to have some kind of, uh, well, once the whole COVID thing gets kind of mm -hmm. taken care of. Like you guys can show it to the fans and everything else, like signings and all that kind of stuff. You guys, no? I honestly have no idea. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> waiting on them to win tonight, and I guess we'll exactly. see. Okay, okay, I got you. I got you. All right, so lastly, I got a few questions about uh, your teammates, Stephanie Dolson, Alicia Gray. Uh, how was it playing with those two over there? I'll take Steph and take Leash. Steph okay. was, I mean, phenomenal. I mean, she was the most dominant post presence, and I don't think it was very close. It wasn't even close at all. So it, I think it made the biggest difference um, because teams now have to change their whole strategy, right? Like, are we going to switch? We're going to have a guard on her in the post. They're fouling a lot, you know, they we're in hacking. the bonus. Exactly. So, I mean, Steph was um, a huge reason why we were able to kind of do what we did. Well, Alicia. Yeah, she was great for us. Um, She's a great rebounder. She's super athletic, so she definitely got some clutch rebounds for mm -hmm. us. Um, and she can get to the basket whenever she wants to, on top of being able to knock down the three. So she really just helped us um, a lot. She was great for us, and uh, it was just great to be able to play with those three. What about the plays? Because I, I was noticing, I don't know if it was the Russian Olympic Committee, which is, to me, another like, crazy name. I don't get that name, but <laughs> I can say that. You guys can't. <laughs> um, but, the, you know, they're running, like, the screens. It seemed like they had some pretty nice drawn-up plays for three-on-three. Three. Like, I'd never seen, like, actual plays for three-on-three. Three. Is that something that you noticed or you're, you're expecting, I guess, going into it? Was that different at all? Um, well, for me, I didn't really know what to expect. But, <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, they've been playing for a long time, playing for a long time together. And so they really just had it down pat. They knew exactly what they were doing. They knew the exact reads. And so... Um, you could tell that they yes. <laughs> definitely had played together for a long time and just had that chemistry out there. Did you notice that? Like, especially that play where they'd start off on the, the wing and they'd run that screen where the, the guard, whoever, would kind of roll to the basket. You either got a switch or, like, that play, that was a tough one to defend. Yeah, it was tough. We, <laughs> me and Jackie um, were in it a lot, and it's tough because it's like, do you give up the three or do you give up the layup? And, um, I mean, like she said, they've been playing together for a long time. They're very disciplined in how they run their sets. Um, but we try to go over stuff and scout again. Sometimes you got to give up the one to not give up the two. It's just, it's, uh, it's tough. I got you. All right, so we have to talk about this one over here. And do you know where I'm going? Uh, it's her epic uh, post-game interviews, pictures, <laughs> her with the big champagne bottle. Yeah. Please tell me. <laughs> I loved it. I loved it, by the way. She was getting it in. When you saw her with the big bottle, she's got like the knees and everything else. Like she was, what did you think uh, about KP? Like she was really enjoying her medal? Yeah, I mean, that's KP for you. But no, she deserves that. Um, I think that's part of their little Achilles gang thing. Stewie did it, she did it, and <laughs> KD did it last night. So Did he really? Yeah, so um, there's like a picture of all three of like going around, so uh, I can see that. it's kind of cool to okay. see that. But I mean, she deserves this. She worked hard to get back, and so she can celebrate however she wants. <laughs> hey, like I told you guys off camera, I tore my Achilles in college, so I'm part of the gang. I need, I should have brought one up to this interview. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so was that premeditated? You just living in the moment and just, uh, 
No, I, I didn't even um, think about it. I, w I was uh, just hanging out with all of us, um, and then I got called over to do media, and I was holding the bottle, and our, our uh, PR person was like, you could bring it. So I was like, oh, okay. So they're asking questions, and I was taking a sip. And someone, someone took a picture and then put the, you know, the three together. So it was cool. It ended up working out really well. No, that, that, to me, that was like one of the most iconic moments of the whole deal over there. Um, it kind of blew up over here. It, it was funny. I, I, I loved it. What were you drinking? Champagne. It was yeah. Some champagne. Champagne. Yeah. I mean, I don't know the name. I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Are you a champagne drinker? Is that like a crystal? You do that? Uh, this is my first time drinking champagne. Yeah. We didn't know what we were doing. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I honestly, uh, in I've never had champagne in my life, so yeah, I'm kind of like with you in that whole deal. So. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, free was free is free. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right. Free is free. Free is free. All right, so folks, we have your Olympic gold medalist, Kelsey Plum, Jack Young. Uh, can we go out on? Can I get it? Can I get a shot of that? Sure. Oh, you guys are mad. Don't don't hate the player, hate the game. <laughs> There we, oh, dang, this thing is heavy on your neck. There we go. Uh, I, I'm not an Olympic gold medalist. However, uh, I am part of the official station for our Las Vegas Aces, so that's why I get this. Hey. And you do not. Thank you guys for coming in. I appreciate it. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, I could reach you. you. Oh, there we go.